on the background so usually fade everything and you fade it by uh, smoothing out the background so first I'm gonna do some of the background and and then I saw that I need to touch up right here right away but before I forget because I see that her chin is a little bit long and I don't want that so let me see I got a little bit of something there okay so just used a little bit. Because I don't want her to look like her chin is super huge. There we go. That's way better. Just taking off a little bit, you'd be surprised how it improves it. So, once again, we're working on our gray value. An easy way to learn to paint. Oh, apparently I left that there. Forgot to take it off. So, See how, how the consistency, hopefully I can show you, let me see. Okay, so the consistency I used is I put a little, I put some linseed oil on that. Then I put some white on there. If it's too bubbly, it's too see-through. Now if your painting is dry and you let it dry for a few days and if it's this bubbly, I don't know if you can see it. It's got a bunch of little bubbles. It's see-through, so that kind of makes it perfect to do the sheer, the see-through. See that? That's how we do see-through. You want an edge. If you, well, if you want to soften it, you just rub the brush on it to kind of give it a soft edge to see no lines, right? That's how you can kind of soften the background when we do the background. If you want an edge, just make sure that edge goes through or Make sure you leave that edge on. Just wanted to show you that, but that's how we did the sheer on her. That's how, whenever you want to do anything that's lacy or sheer, that's how you do it. Let me see. There we go. Dropping all my napkins. Oh, okay. So we're going to do, you know, the light source. You can make it a little bit thicker. That's fine. You could do the background first if you want. I always do it afterwards. I don't know why, but I do. Because I can always go back and, and cut. Edge. a little bit more the more linseed oil you have on there the water more watery it's going to be so the more paint you have the thicker the more pink let's see all right so let's do this there we go see that because the light source is coming from this way. So I want to make sure that's there. I can get a bigger brush. You can use a bigger brush if you'd like. The more bigger the brush, the more room you'll cover. The smaller the brush, the least amount, the more detailed you can get in there. If you want to make sure, you know, let's put a little bit of black in there. So we can start doing a different value. I kind of want to do like a circle. Let's try to do a circle. So this is what I'm going to be doing, like this. It's really not going to get that much darker. But you can see how we're doing the gradation. Let's see, a little bit of burnt umber and black more. See how it's so watery? You see it kind of like dripping? That's how some people do water. They let it drip and it does a beautiful water effect for your lakes. Cool. The reflection of trees, you could just let the green 
go down and water down. It gives it, it does a great job in that reflection. Plus I cover where I'm kind of like was doing it and I didn't like the position where it was at and so I changed it from covering. That's a beautiful thing about working with oil so you can always go back and cover things, you know? And the wonderful thing about working with um, grease is you can always go back and touch it a little, you know? You only have the gradation of things to worry about, so that's the wonderful thing. And then you can always go back. Oh, I'm going to show you how to add a little bit of color. But I'm, I'm assuming that's probably how Thomas Kincaid kind of worked. That's what I'm assuming. Let me bring this up just a little bit. And this is like almost the same color. Well, once I started rubbing it, it changed. So. Okay. I used to want to have everything smooth when it came to doing the body, but now I like, um, I don't know if I've said this before, I have the tendency of repeating myself a lot, so please excuse me. Um, uh, what was I going to say? See? Oh, the reason I like, if you watch some of my earlier videos, I used to try to blend everything. Now I don't, um, because I actually like... For you to be able to tell it's a painting. I like for you to see the brush strokes. Not like, oh my god, that looks just like a photo. I mean, you can always take a photograph. If, if you like the realism as real as it looks to look like a photo, by all means, do it that way. Everybody's got their own preference. But I heard an artist say that, you know, the fun of painting is to paint and let people know that it's a painting. And so I kind of, I like that. I like, I said, that's true. You want it to be a good painting, but you want people to tell it's a painting. Because at first, I, I really wanted people to, I wanted it very real. Because I always liked doing realism since I was a kid. So I, I, I did want that. But once I heard that painter say that, I said, you know, that's true. That is true. If I wanted a picture, I would have just taken a picture. My husband's um, hearing his football. So I just came back from trucking. I call it trucking. Alright. Right there. I do like to see other artists when they paint and to see all the all the brush strokes like this and when you don't put when you leave some of the canvas showing through or some of your undertone it's called a vignette I love that I love to see that see I went over I come back just take off simple as that that's the beauty of working with this let me see just cleaning it up up rather nicely. I like that. This is where it's really dirty. Let me see. I'm gonna have to get my thinner brush for that. Here we go. I don't know if I went too dark there. Let's see. That's perfect. Yeah, it's taking some of those hard lines off. light source. Okay, garbage man is coming. 
You could put a little bit. I mean, it's up to you what you want to put. This is your painting. This side. Color. See some of that color? I like it when it shows through. Let me see. Right here. Brush it very lightly. Smooth it out very, very lightly. Smooth it out. Let's see. There you go. And I'm always going, there we go, there we go. It's because I used to work training people, and I'm so used to, like, having to say everything I'm doing. So, you'll have to excuse me. That's the beauty of working this way. You can always blend. Now, because you do thin it out, it does um, dry up quicker. So... I'm just letting you know but if you're gonna apply like the wash it's called the wash when you do once you let this dry and then you put a light cover like how I told you very see-through um, like watercolor it's called a wash and it's okay if you let some of that in there because the beauty of this is you can always go back look see Let's see. see it, and it's good. It helps it blend a little. All right, let's see. It helps it blend. Gives it that fading effect. I have a problem with. You could use a, a smaller brush so that you don't touch anything or, like I said, since we are working with it being kind of like watery, you can always come back and just take it off. Always come back. My kitty is snoring. If you want to use a napkin to wipe some of that paint you made. Let's see. Yeah, I'm recording. That's fine. I won't bug you. I'll go play my game. I'll give you a kiss first, so. I love you. I ain't told you, mommy. It smells like paint in here. <laughs> I wet it. I missed the call. Me. I was trying to call you. Okay. <laughs> oh, really? See how I did that water? Yeah. I'll take some of it off. Now, I am going to take up a little because I do see some color want kind of did some alteration right here. So, I mean, 
could always go back. And touch up a little bit. So right now I'm just going and seeing where I feel I might need to touch up. Maybe some other hair just to kind of smooth it out. Hair is smooth, so let's let that roll. All right, let's just get a little bit darker right here. Just it is darker right here. Booty. I know it's not called the booty, but do a little bit of the the shoe. This is dark. I don't have it dark. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna touch up a little bit of the the white. Just touching up. Making it nice. It's fine with me if it gets lost, like, boom, soft. Alright, now I'm just going to soften it right here. Nice if my brush was soft. Soften it right here, soften it right there. We want to soften it, soften it. So I'm just going around the lines. Just softening it where we color. Every time I do a softening edge, I wipe my brush. Every time. I'm softening around the hands. Because I don't want to pick up that paint and carry it over. That's fine if it goes like this, look. I'm not having a, a heart attack if it goes into the clothes. Because in actuality, we don't have lines, do we? And some of that. I do like when I see paintings and they have a little, where the artist went back and brushed some of that in there. Since we are working with lace, let it, let it, let it go in there. Let it go in there. That's fine with me. Let it melt. There we go. Let it go into the skin. Right? Makes it more believable. Let it go into the valley slipper. That's fine with me. Okay, there we go. Soften it. 
that are bland weather environment. Now I'm going to get another soft brush and you could just go ahead and blend it. Blend the environment. Smoothing it out. That's how you smooth things. You could put a little linseed oil. I think the brush is very low. I'm wiping it off. You can like have it run again. And land. God, I'm sounding like what's his name? Happy little tree here. I wonder my daughter says I sound like him. Don't have a problem. That's fine with me. Sad enough that he died. Actually, a teacher told me because he knew him. I was like, what? And I called myself a fan. That's because I hardly ever listen to the news. Sometimes, you know, too many bad things happen that I would rather not hear. We should have good news too. And good news today. See how it's blending in? That's what you want to do. Just go in all directions. If you want, you can go one direction. Not the band. <laughs> Lame joke, I know. Go in directions. You're just brushing it back and forth. Smoothing it out. wanted to do that you can if you're if you want to add more you can add more so I'm gonna add a little bit more and I'm gonna do it a little bit darker on the bottom you see it's feeling a little dry so put a little bit more linseed oil just got the tip wet it's giving me some volume a little bit more paint. All directions. Brush it like this if you want. See, I'm gonna go back. Here we go. I'm just trying to get rid of that line. Make sure you all can see it. See how it's looking. All right. 